What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jones and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today, people, we're going to be learning how to get more attachments and also more weapons for your character in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So there are two ways to get it. One, through a laptop, and two, interrogating some of the lieutenants for the, from the cartel. And uh, I suggest to do the lieutenants first because I believe in order for you to find the laptops, it's going to take you a while to search through the city. And the lieutenants are already marking your map. So as you guys saw right now, I just saw one in the map. I headed over there. Pretty much this is the lieutenant. And what you got to do is just hold square and grab the enemy and interrogate them. Talk, motherfucker. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. Once you get to interrogate him for equipment cases, make sure you head over to your map. In your map, you should be able to see these blue icons. Most of these blue icons are going to show you what they are, and some of them are guns, some of them are skill points, and the other one is pretty much the attachments for your weapons. So what I'm going to do right now is going to head. I'm going to head over to a certain base, and I'm going to pick up an attachment so you guys can see uh, what they offer, and hopefully it's a good one. So head over over there to your unit and make sure you clear out the bases because most of these bases do have enemies all the time so make sure you, you tag them and sneak your way around in order for you to get some of these equipments and uh, I'm pretty sure most of the time you should be able to get a random thing it's not always the same thing I'm pretty sure most everybody has a different playthrough so do not expect to get the same thing what I'm about to get right now he makes five tango down Check it out, weapons case. Got no tangles nice on my radar. Boots. So there you have it folks, that's the way you unlock some attachments, some weapons, and also some skill points for your character in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And myself, I pretty much unlocked a reflex side. And pretty much the reflex sight is not that bad because I need some kind of attachment. I wasn't planning to play the whole game with an iron sight, so it's a small improvement, but it's still good for me because I'm a little bit blind, so I needed that, that sight so bad. So anyways, guys, if you guys want to see more Ghost Recon Wildlands, leave a like on the video and also subscribe for more because it's going to be more stuff like this coming up in the future. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more. <laughs>